dun, dun. Boom, Stan Funk, NABSEP certified professional PV installer. All right, today we're talking about how to size strings. We're gonna use a Hyundai module with a Sunny Boy inverter, an N phase micro inverter, and an AP systems micro yeah, inverter. Yeah, you are. Well, actually, that's kind of wrong because these are actually branch circuits. No, Sorry. you're not. Anyways, so this is a string size. These are on voltages. These are branch circuits. We're going to look at amperages on that. Let's start out with the inverter, and we're going to be looking at voltages. Give me one of these freaking markers, man. Pick that. All hopped up on coffee. Let's do this. All right. So what we're worried about in this situation with our string sizing is our maximum voltage here. If we go over that, the inverter is going to freaking explode. So what we're going to do is... We're gonna look at our module, the VOC, that's the voltage at open circuit, open current, God, is 38.7 volts. And that's assuming we're at 25 degrees Celsius, which in reality we're not, that's standard testing conditions. So we need to correct that and figure out, we're in Utah, so we're gonna look, our lowest temperature, which is gonna increase our voltage, is 27, negative 27 degrees of Celsius. And so we wanna see how that is gonna change our VOC um, so we can figure out how many panels we can put in a string without exceeding 750 volts. So what we can do is we can go to the NEC code book, 690.7A. 0.7A is going to tell us what correction factors we need to use. So negative uh, 27, that what, would is be what is it? A factor of 1.21, 1 sir. 1.21. So 38.7 times 1.21. What does that equal? I'm guessing somewhere around 46.827. 46.827, that's probably a pretty good guess. We're gonna go with that. 46.827, so we take the 750 volts, so the inverter won't explode, divide that by 46.827 and 750 just, volts divided by your VOC. If you had to guess. Your, okay, hang on. If you had to just guess off the top of your head, 750 volts divided by 46.827. Somewhere around 16.016. 16.016, that sounds good to me. That's a six, actually. So, we don't want the inverter to explode, so we can't round up, because that's going to put us over 750 volts, if you understand how math works. So, that's 16 panels per string for this inverter. Yeah, it is. Now we're going to jump over to branch circuits. That's enough of that. So branch circuits, uh, 230 watts. Let's get a red marker. That's red. Let's stick with red. You. 230 watts, Dan. 230 watts. This is a dwelling, bro. This is a, this is a single family dwelling, so we're at 240 volts, or 30 volts, residential <laughs> in the United States of America. So 230 divided by 240, what does that give me? 0.958. So 0 0.95. I wasn't sure if I wanted to throw on the 8 or just go 9.95. Sure. You know? Yeah, I get you. So um, that's our amps because if you know anything, volts or watts divided by volts gives us amps. So 0 0.95 and then we need to times that by continuous current, obviously. So 0 0.958 times 1.25, what does that equal? 1.19. 1.19 continuous current. Okay. So we're using an N-phase system. It's a 12-gauge wire. Small conductor rule obviously tells us what the goddamn 12-gauge... 240.4. 240.4 tells us what the 12-gauge wire we need to use. 240. 240. A 20 amp overcurrent protection device. We need to stay under 20 amps. So we need to take 20 amps. Yep. Divide that guy by our 1.19 amps. Yep. And that's going to give us 16.8. 16. .8. 16 .8 Go ahead and throw on a point eight oh, of a micro inverter. That's panels. So yeah, if we wanted to, we could we could take 80 percent of one of these <laughs> micros. Probably not realistic. So we're gonna, we're just going to take 16 micros, 16 panels for that branch circuit. AP systems is a little bit different. Let's look at this thing. So this is actually two micro inverters in one. It's 500 watts or 250 a side. We look at this, we say same thing, 500 watts divided by 240 volts gives us 2.08 maybe, something like that. Yeah, 2.083, idiot. Oh, sorry. And then we multiply that by 1.25 for continuous current. That jumps us up to... 2.6. 2.6. So 2.6 amps of continuous current. Again, this is a 12 gauge wire. So 20 amp over current protection, 20 divided by 2.6. 7.69. 7 7.69. So we could put 69% of one of these micro inverters on a house. That probably doesn't make sense. So we're gonna have seven AP systems micro inverters, but remember these hold two panels. So it's 
14 panels per branch circuit, seven of these dual, dual um, deals. deals per branch circuit. And now the last thing we want to talk about, so is maximum power point tracking, and that's your efficiency range. With these, with the two microinverters that we're looking at here, the maximum power point tracking happens at the panel level, so it's not gonna change with how many panels you have on a branch circuit. With this, the maximum power point tracking is at the string level, so that is going to change. Um, your voltage is going to change there, so it's gonna change how many panels you can put on and stay in this range. So we'll have Nicholas come talk to y'all about how that works. Okay, boom. If you're looking for efficiency, we're gonna use our VMP, okay? So uh, we're gonna look for the minimum amount of panels we can put on this bad boy. So we're gonna use 175 volts, which means that we're also gonna use the, what, high, the high temperature. We don't have a, a factor, a correction factor in the NEC code book. So a good way to do that is to use a, a 0.005 percentage, hit it with that. So what we want to do, you got the calculator rolling? Just back of a napkin, I'm thinking it's, uh, well, hold up. I'm, I'm doing what, what, what 42 doing? 42 minus 25, you got your high temperature minus your standard testing condition equals, what is that? It was 17. 17 degrees C, okay? You want to hit that with your 0 0.005. Just, uh, 0.085 maybe? 0.085. If it's getting colder and the voltage is gonna go up, then you add one, but guess what? It's not, that's the thing, it's not. It's not. It's hotter, dude. If it's hotter, then why would you add voltage? I know. Oh, so you don't. You're gonna subtract equal one minus that. 0.915? Equals 0.915. Now, hit that, this 0.915, hit it with your VMP. 29.097. Oh my goodness, 29 point what? 097. 097. And then divide it by no. Hit it with the 175, it's the low. We're looking for the minimum amount of panels we can put on there. What does it get? 6.014. 6.014. So therefore you can put six, right? Because it's six. No. It says six. Right, but? But, but oh, your math 014 makes it higher than six. So that's the thing. That's the thing, man. Which means that you cannot do that, which means you have to go up to seven. All the way up there. That's how many panels you want to have on here to get the inverter rolling, to keep it in the maximum power point, uh, range. Now, if you want to know how many panels should I put on here to stay within my efficiency range, not how many to where it blows up in your face all the way up on the roof. So what you're going to do is you want to take your VMP. So we got our, we got our, uh, low temperature this time. What is it? What do we got, Funky? Our low temperature is negative 27. So it, but it already gave it to us. 1.21. Oh, 31.8 by 1.21? Yeah. 38.478. 38. what? Something, something. 478. And then divide that by... No, no, no. Then do your deal here. What deal? It's, it's, now, getting, it's now getting colder, so okay. we're going to add one. But we already have... Our... Oh, you already did. Got the I'm, a, I'm so stupid. <laughs> I'm so stupid. <laughs> My kid hates me right now. Okay, you got that number. Then divide it by 500 volts. Hold up, right, oh. Oh my, this is embarrassing. 31.8 times 1.21. Oh man, this calculator's not working right. Mm -hmm. Leaving that napkin. <laughs> is this not a calculator? <laughs> He's just pushing the, the napkin. The, the decimal sign doesn't want to click, man. So anyway, I really enjoy trail running and food. Okay, 38.478 is what your VMP will be after okay. the correction factor. Okay, VMP, and now we're looking for how many panels can you put on this? Stay within your, your maximum power point tracking. This is an efficiency question. 
Divide that by... Divide that by 38.478. 500 by, yep, what do you got? You got 13.01. So the 13.01, so that's 13 panels, right? Right. Okay, so that gives you 13 panels. This is money. This is safety. Safety? Safety. Is that like, you know, I guess, yeah. So 13 pa panels efficiency, 16 panels for uh, the maximum, and six, no, excuse me, seven panels minimum.